All right, people, Big Ed here. In my last video, I showed you I was breaking the bead off of my tire, and I was using the C-clamps. And uh, that worked good for the one side, but when I flipped the tire around to try to do the other side, I didn't have so much luck. So I was sitting there thinking, how can I get this other side off? Break the bead on the other side. So what I come up with which is actually what I'm probably going to start using this method more often if I have to do another tire. I just put the tire, I got a board, I've got a trailer right here. I mean, this is only going to work if you got a trailer, but I leave it hooked up to the truck. And then I got a board underneath. And all you do is crank down the jack and then it pushes breaks the bead off of there I still got a finish going around it's pretty much broken off so uh, next I got to get the tire off the rim and then I don't know if I'm going to attempt to put the tire on I've seen guys doing it and I've done it in the past, but it's a pain in the ass, especially with the cooler weather out because the rubber is harder whenever it's cool out. I was thinking about maybe taking a heat gun and heating up the new tire and uh, warm it up to try to put it on, but I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, but this is just another idea if you guys are trying to get the bead off or break the bead and it actually worked pretty good for me it worked better than uh, I wish I would have done this to begin with instead of the C-clamps C-clamps still wasn't too bad but this worked good don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel like always that was a poor this poor uh, peace sign. There we go. Peace out.